Where are my freaks at? Oh yeah. We got to chatting on my channel one Monday night. We do that every Monday. We go live and, and we have us a nice chat. You know, me and a bunch of other people. And we're having a good old time talking about uh, what not to do with your arcs. And I stand as an example and a warning and a cautionary tale for all you fine folks out there. Do not take your paperback arcs to the beach. In fact, don't take any book you don't want to ruin to the beach. Because I inadvertently ruined my Boys in the Valley arc. It has become something of a, of a legendary arc. And I refer to it as the Beach Boys. Because <laughs> it got trashed. And uh, Philip Fricassi said, I've got to sign that for you. I, I need to. And since I'm not going to go out to L.A. anytime soon, and he wasn't coming to Tennessee... Uh, I, I asked if it'd be okay if I sent him a box of books. And he said, sure. So I rounded up four books for him to sign. And I brought I, I boxed them up in a priority large flat rate box. And I sent them off to him. And I'm going to open them up to see what I got as far as signatures. And what he inscribed in any of them. <laughs> and I, I, you know, I want to do that here with you. Because this, this is where it all happens. This is a very well-traveled box. This is the box I sent out to him, and he packed it back up and sent it to me. He did it. He turned it around like a day. Now, I'm not saying send Fricassi your arcs or your books for him to sign, um, and that he'll turn it around right away. I mean, you got to ask a guy if he if he has time and he and he can and wants to do it. He. He did it with a quickness. So this box, you know, we did the responsible, sustainable thing. We use the same box. I'm very, very curious. All right, so here we are. First up is my Child Alone with Strangers arc. Fantastic book. Just a fantastic book. Now, I've never read the arc. Uh, I he, he made substantial changes from this arc to the hardcover Um published book he advised me not to read this one and wait for the hardcover so i did i was impatiently waited It was worth the wait that's a tremendous book forget about it that's an amazing book so let's see what he wrote in here <laughs> jeff thanks for not reading this one and a little doodle look at that <laughs> it's awesome yes uh if if the author tells you don't read it don't read it so, uh, up next is uh, Observe. It is a heretofore unpublished book from Philip Fricassi. This is the only place it exists. He's shopping it around. He's going to get it sold. And so I'm going to uh, get it when it's, when it's available. But I'm going to have read it. I'm going to have read it. And here it is. So, um, very fortunate to have this for Jeff. A sneak preview. You can't miss what never existed. Awesome! That's cool. Boom. And it's it's in blue ink. Blue ink. Oh, that's cool. Uh, now, I did see out of the corner of my eye this one. Uh, this is an arc I didn't have. The Blue Butterfly by Philip Fricassi. The Blue Butterfly. For Jeff, happy holidays and a doodle. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I'm telling you, man, he's got so much He's he's got out there. This is like the year of Fricassi. When a young L.A. fashion designer, Kate, buys a vintage dress from a hip used clothing store, she discovers that wearing the dress connects her with the original owner, a Hollywood starlet from the 1950s named Ava Kane. Once she has a supernatural experience of briefly living Ava's life in a bizarre form of coexistence, Kate continues to go back and relive different scenes from Ava's life by using other items that once belonged to the young actress. To Kate, with the help of her Silver Lake friends... Oh, oh, see, there's a band that goes across that I couldn't, I couldn't read. So... Kate, with the help of her Silver Lake friends, digs into the past to try and discover who is responsible for Ava's death, leading them all down a dark and twisted path of Hollywood lore, the occult, and dangerous characters, both living 
and dead. As Kate gets more obsessed with the mystery of Ava Kane, their bond strengthens. Kate begins to take on aspects of Ava's strong personality as their lives blur with each successive trip that Kate takes into the past. While pursuing the mystery, Kate interacts with those who are part of both the past and the present. In doing so, the danger that Ava was in half a century ago becomes very much part of the present, putting Kate in a direct path of the person she has been seeking, Ava's killer. That sounds bonkers, man. That is bonkers. That's awesome. That is a really great story, great premise. Um, I'm not sure if anybody has uh, bought this book, any publisher, but damn, that is a really cool uh, thriller. That's a, that's a thriller. That's awesome. That, uh. Oh, forget about it, man. That is so cool. Thank you, Philip, for sending me that art. All right, I got two more. Um, these two, I expect. These are the ones I sent out. First one is Gothic. <laughs> he wrote shitty title <laughs> that's funny um for jeff time to kill the music oh that is cool look at that nice and it's in purple it's in purple i've been looking for a purple fracassi signature oh man so i got this book so happy. And then, last and definitely not least, the Beach Boys. Now, remember I said, now, it's all it's all water damaged here because as I was leaving, it was thrown onto a thing and then a thing. So I put this in a basket when I was carrying it to the car. It was right on top. I placed it right on top, gingerly. I was very careful. I put this on top. And then as I got my hands full and I'm carrying a thing, my son threw a wet towel on top of the basket I was carrying. I didn't know about it. And then I got in the car, I put it down. I'm like, whoa, pulled it off. Damage was done. The needle and the damage done. So let's see. For Jeff and your busy, busy, bushy blonde hair too. <laughs> That's a uh, uh, Beach Boys uh, lyric. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's tremendous man that is so cool <laughs> he, he tied it into the beach boys that's awesome that is awesome wow i mean that's legendary so like this none of these are ever leaving my possession that's it i am i'm going to put this down i've just reorganized reorganized my shelves and i'm going to put it all away and my Fricassi collection will be complete, and I will be over the moon. Um, so I'm just kind of just kind of spinning around here, just kind of spinning around. So again, check me out every Monday. I go live. We talk, and we'll get into some of this stuff. Um, I do know that um, somebody else had just sent Philip Fricassi a box of books, and it was probably like triple the size of my box because I only sent four. Because I'm not a greedy person. I think every other book I have from Philip Fricassi is signed. I have, uh, well, I guess I could have sent some childs, some childs alones with strangers, some of the hardcovers, but I didn't. Um, because I have signed copies of that book. Anyway, anyway, I'm getting into it. I'm getting into it. Come back every Monday, man, and uh, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll sit and chat about some stuff and, um, you know, Fakasi often joins us on Mondays. So it's a pretty cool thing, man. So it's pretty cool. Don't tell him I am who I am, then he, he'll stop showing up. So just shh until he's, you know, he's there. Anyway, so that's all I got this time around. Um, stay tuned to the channel. I'm going to do a book tour so I can show off my books. I want to do a book tour, bookshelf tour once a year um, to sort of document it, and but also uh, share how they've grown and expanded and what stayed and what may be departed. Cool. Anyway, no matter what you're doing um, during this cold, even though it's cold outside, don't forget to stay frosty. <laughs>